All right, so if you're here for the giveaway, make sure you stick around for the rules and explanation of which one of these will be given away, because obviously it's not going to be everything. And make sure you listen for the rules, otherwise you will not be winning. All right, so I got a bunch of random parts here from things I've been kind of collecting on my review desk, and I just need to clear them out of here. Uh, obviously, this is not installed or tested, no in-depth, you know, like testing any of this kind of stuff. In general, a lot of these things like all-in-one flight controllers and that kind of stuff, it's random, you know. Uh, there's no real way to say like, okay, this is gonna last forever, or uh, you know, you can just breathe on it funny and it will just die on you. Uh, there's no way for me to tell you that in this kind of, in the kind of, this kind of video. Um, so, you know, you know, take it for what it is. Uh, basically, I've um, been waiting for some of this stuff to come into stocks so that, you know, if you guys see a video on this, you can at least buy it if you're interested in it. I'm going to just go over the um, actual product page uh, to go over the specs and stuff. Anything that might be interesting or noteworthy, I'll point that out in the video. And, uh, yeah, let's just get into it and clear all this stuff out of here because I'm not sure if I'm going to be putting these into any kind of builds or anything. I might be. I might not be. Some of the stuff might be given away later on. You know, uh, you, obviously if you watch my videos, you know that I will pull out random comments from like a previous video from like a month ago or something like that and give away stuff. So also keep that in mind. All right, so let's take a look at this uh, first one. This is the Skystars F405 Mini uh, HD2 flight controller. So on the product page on Banggood, it comes in a stack with an ESC. I don't have that, they didn't send that to me, so I'm not gonna be talking about that in this video, but uh, it, you know, obviously for a lot of these flight controllers, it is a 20 by 20, comes with uh, your set of rubber grommets, and you do get some connectors here, and it looks like one of them is for DJI. Yeah, this one's for DJI, so obviously there must be a nine volt regulator on there somewhere, and then they have these other connectors that aren't actually uh, pinned in so if you're connecting this to another ESC that has a different pinout you can adjust the pinout uh, order uh, with these connectors by putting them in the correct order based on which uh, ESC you're using but here's a just a quick look at the board nice big pads for all of your soldering and they're labeled this is an F405 which is kind of unusual these are hard to find these days 20 by 20 board not super thick a PCB. You have little connectors or solder points there for, it looks like, I'm not 100% sure what these four are. They, uh, I'll look at that in the um, product page. Maybe it's like listed in the wiring diagram. And you're on the other side, you have your uh, Betaflight OSD. This looks like it has an MPU 6000 and you got your voltage regulators. And this is your connector for your to your ESC, and it looks like there's solder pads on this one. Yeah, and they're labeled, so you can see it's got a current sensor as well. And just a quick look at the product page here. Uh, obviously, you can see it's shown with uh, the stack with the 4 one ESC. And it looks like the one it comes with here is a 3 to 6S. Um, doesn't say if it's a BL Heli S or BL Heli 32. You can see, obviously, connector there for your DJI Air unit. So it does come with I2C support for iNav. It has a TVS diode for reverse polarity protection. Interesting. So it does have six hardware UARTs. Uh, with a, being an F4 or 5 that uh, makes total sense. 5 volt, 2 amp EC, and a 10 volt, 2 amp EC. So that's for DJI. 16 megabytes of black box data on board. That's nice. And uh, the EC that they're... Uh, at least on the on this product page that I don't have is the BL Heli SDSD 35 amps bursting at 45 amps. So you know um, nothing too special there. It looks like those four extra pads I wasn't sure about uh, might be for extra motor pads like a uh, motor five and six. But yeah, there's a wiring diagram here on the product page. All right, so moving on to the next thing here, we've got this Daytone Mamba uh, H743. Uh, looks like a 30 by 30 flight controller. So the H7s are coming, and uh, just a flight controller. It looks like this. The, this might be a pre-production. Yeah, it's this firmware target, and here's a development version. Uh, this one's been sitting around for a while, so I'm sure the production versions have a, a firmware target of um, whatever's in production now, probably 4.2.11 or 12, something like that now. 
It says target there, Mamba H743. Looks like these got these huge um, regulators here on the bottom for this flight controller. All the pads are really big, but none of them have uh, any kind of labeling on them whatsoever. All right, so this wiring diagram is on paper and included in the box. And I'm pretty sure it's gonna be on the product page as well. And here is the labeling for all these big solder pads. So I guess this is the trade-off if you guys want huge solder pads, but no silk screening, then you're gonna obviously have to go with some sort of paper. Uh, that is a trade-off, but you know, some people will like that. And this one has eight UARTs, uh, H7. Here are some of the specs. 128 meg of black box data. So it has a 3.3 volt BEC, a 5 volt BEC at 3 amps, another 5 volt BEC at 3 amps, and a 9 volt BEC at 3 amps. Tons of BECs on here. The flight controller can go up to 6S. 30 by 30 board, so and it has TVS protection, reverse uh, polarity. So this thing is pretty fully loaded. And it does have a USB-C port as well. Uh, just a quick look at the product page here. You know, just, uh, you see the diagram. This is what it looks like under those stickers. Yeah, so it looks like this board has uh, the newer BMI 270 gyro, not the MPU 6000 gyro. So something to keep in mind. Uh, I believe there are presets for that in the new Betaflight 4.3 for the new gyro that's um, on this board. Uh, it doesn't look like this product page has any of the wiring diagrams, so you want to make sure if you get this you don't lose that piece of paper or scan it in or some, somewhere save, save it somewhere safe. All right, so we, now we got a 20 by 20 H743 board here. You can see this is a pretty huge chip, this H, uh, H7 board, uh, H7 chip. And uh, this is from Racer Star. So this one's called the Racer Star Mini H743 HD. And the uh, pads are decently sized for a 20 by 20. They do have some labeling on there. The um, packaging did not come with any uh, wiring diagram, so let's see if it's on the product page. But yeah, it uh, looks like this is meant for DJI, so it probably has a connector for DJI, if not pads for that. Alright, so this is what came in the box. It just looks like you have the connector for the ESC, and you have a the DJI connector has just bare wire, so it's probably intended for like a Vista. So, you know, for usually 20 by 20s are, you know, people are going to build them with Vistas, not the full air unit. So a quick look at the product page here. Yeah, the photos do show the silk screen a little bit better in terms of what the pads are and what they go to just two pictures. Uh, let's see, what, what uh, are the specs? Okay, so here's some additional specs. 3 to 6 S for the board. Um, so yeah, unfortunately this one does not go down to 2 S. Uh, so uh, usually it's, uh, for 20 by 20s, I'd like for them to go down to at least 2 S, but this one does 3 to 6 S. Uh, BEC 5 volt 3 amp and a 9 volt 2.5 amp. So you have two nice BECs there, one, obviously one for DJI and the Vista. MP6000 on this one, 16 megs of uh, black box flash data. Betaflight OSD, you got a BMP280 gyro. You have four, this is a four and one extra UART, so it probably might be one that might be a soft, soft serial. You have a wiring diagram here on the product page as well, so if you can't make out what the silk screening is, um, yeah, this this one, you know, obviously being an H7 for your smaller, you know, like um, uh, three inch builds, four inch builds using a 20 by 20, this is, and if, if you're going with DJI, this is going to be a perfectly adequate flight controller, uh, quite capable. Uh, but don't, it does, does come with a micro USB, not a USB C port, so something that I know some of you guys are not going to like. Okay, so now we have a, a URUAV F405 all in one board. This is a whoop style all in one board with an F405 chip, and it's got a kind of an unusual setup here. So we have a vertical USB port here. So this is typically for whoop style frames with the vertical USB port. And then uh, it's got an F405 instead of an F411. 
and uh, I'm not sure what the specs are. I'll have to go look at the product page. You have plugs for your motor wires. You have probably have plugs here for maybe going to like a receiver, um, maybe going to DJI unit, perhaps. A beta flight OSD. Decently sized pads. Does not come with an XT30 or any kind of battery connector because obviously there's your battery lead connectors here. And it looks like uh, you have a current sensor shunt there. And it doesn't look like there's extra pads for your motor wires. So you're pretty much, this is limited to uh, things that have uh, motor plugs. But usually on, on these kind of setups the, with the vertical USB, these motor plugs are going, to, are going to be on the same side um, as on the bottom here, but it's on top. So it's a kind of an, again, an unusual setup here for this board. Nothing else comes in the packaging. You just get these connector uh, ones, like a servo connector for like a receiver. And then you have this connector here. And this possibly could be for like a GPS air unit, something like that. I'm not sure. And it's not for this one, it's going to be for this one here. So I'll have to go take a look at the product page. All right, so it's taking a quick look at the pictures on the product page. And in this uh, photo, it shows an XD30, looks like, with a capacitor, but I did not get that in my packaging. Uh, 6.2 grams. So this uh, all-in-one only does 2 to 4S, but it's a 20 amp ESC. It's got a current sensor. Yeah, so it's saying like, you know, uh, Beta 95X, some sort of whoop or toothpick type of uh, board, and and it's saying it's compatible with uh, Cadex Nebula Nano Pro, so it's obviously got some sort of DJI component here. Let's see wh what the wiring diagram shows. Okay, so there's some additional specs here on the description page. MPU 6000, uh, 5 UARTs plus SBUS. Interesting, it has uh, the firmware version is a GIP RC F405 target. 5 volts, 3 amps uh, for one of the uh, uh, voltage regulators. Alright, so here's a wiring diagram. So yeah, uh, obviously that one plug that I showed you it looks like it's definitely for a DJI air unit, but it doesn't look like it, it had the complete complement of wires. And then the other one, the other plug is for a receiver, but it only, you know, they, 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 they just gave me a servo LP, not the actual plug for that. So. You're probably going to need a plug for that that's not included. And then it shows, you know, um, the other connectors there for like LEDs, buzzer, VTX, etc. Anyway, so it's uh, about uh, 50 bucks for this all-in-one with a 20 amp uh, 4-in-1 ESC. And an F4 or 5 is not bad in terms of pricing. Alright, so moving on, we got another all-in-one. Uh, this is a another whip style or toothpick style. Flight controller. This is an F411 Racer Star. Two to four S. Fifteen amp uh, Beale Heli S ESCs on here. It is like you have little connectors there, motor, or for your motor wires if you don't want to use the uh, plugs. Got a buzzer built in, capacitor built in, uh, XT30 all pre-wired in. And I guess it's kind of an unusual setup. So you got these motor plugs that are facing up, or is that down? I'm not 100% sure what the correct orientation on this is. And then you have this vertical USB, instead of it being in the center here, it's off to the side. So I'm not quite sure. I've never seen anything like this in any other like bind and fly. So I'm not sure what this would actually be a good fit for. And then in the bag, you just get another, you know, some few plugs here, some grommets, uh, not a whole lot. So let's take a look at the um, product page. This is a very unusual looking board. I'm not really sure what this would be good for. In terms, of probably some sort of a toothpick build, probably. Okay, so looking at the specs, it's an F411. It does have a barometer on board. MP6000 gyro, only two yards because it's an F411. You have a 5 volt, 2.5 amp EC, 2 to 4 is for the battery voltage, and then uh, the ECs are 15 amps. So, um, yeah, this is definitely, I think, targeting like some sort of a toothpick type build, probably like a 3 inch toothpick. 
And then you do have a wiring diagram here, so it looks like uh, you probably might need to supply some of your own plugs. Not every looks like the, every plug has its own connector in the bag. Yeah, it doesn't say it has any kind of uh, specific DJI type connector, so this is mostly going to be for like, your analog build, I think. All right, so moving on, we have this super tiny GPS from Nameless RC, and obviously it's called Tiny GPS. Uh, and just for comparison, this is an M80 GPS from HGLRC which is one of the smaller ones, it's one of the more popular ones out there, but look at the size comparison, super, super tiny. So for your super tiny builds where you want GPS, I might want to give this one a try. I haven't tried this one yet, but I think I'm going to put this into something ultralight and see how well it works in a future video, so stick around for that. You can see size comparison-wise. And I'll just do a quick look at the product page, just some photos again. And it's 5 volts, 9600 um, for the baud rate, and uses U-Box, so pretty straightforward there, so let's move on. Okay, so also from uh, Nameless RC, this is called uh, the Super Whoop, or Super All-in-One Whoop board. So it's a pretty large board, as you can see here, obviously 25 or 25 millimeter Whoop style uh, mounting. You got your micro USB port there. All your like wiring connections here are on the side. So it's kind of unusual, so not not a whole not a whole lot of solder pads available. All your motor wires are are going to also on the sides here. Uh, I guess it's going to. I'm not sure what the right forward orientation is. Uh, the arrow is right there, so that's that's forward. Yeah, motor one, two, three, and four. So normally, like uh, they would be on the corners, and it looks like uh, it's all on the sides. And then you have all your your wiring connections here on this side. And it looks like the chip on here is an F405. And then this one here has a built-in DVR for recording your analog video. So that's probably why it's so big and why it's called the Super All-in-One Whoop. And uh, in the box you get this weird set of tweezers. I'm not sure why it's in there. It comes with some rubber grommets and a PH 2.0 for the battery lead, kind of weird, but this is a 1S board, so uh, not you know not everyone's going XT30 for their 1S um, toothpick builds. Uh, let's look at the product page real quick here. So it's sold a newbie drone right now. It's about seventy-seven dollars. Uh, the ESCs are fifteen at Heli S. DVR supports up to thirty-two gigabyte micro SD cards. MPU six thousand F four or five chip. The firmware target is a Matek F405 Mini, uh, 502 amp BAC, and again it's a 1S setup here, 3 UARTs on here. The recording resolution is 720p, 30fps on the DVR. And it does have a wiring diagram here as well on the product page. Okay, so we got another all-in-one flight controller here. So this is the JHE MCU GF, or GHF 13 all-in-one. Yeah, it's an F411. This is a 16 by 16 all-in-one board, so pretty unusual size there. Uh, yeah, look at these tiny, tiny solder pads here. Let's we'll look at the product page for the wiring diagram. All your motor wires go on the edges here. So this is for your super tiny, super light builds. Because this has a 400 EC and a flight controller all-in-one. And into a 16 by 16 board. So this is even smaller than those whoop style flight controller boards. Micro USB, of course, USB C would be way too big for this. Uh, you get a, you get some wires for your XT30 and a capacitor in this package, and that's it. So let's look at the uh, product page. You got some photos here again, some you know, better looking pictures here. Yes, yeah, that's what I got there. It's 4.3 grams, crazy. All right, so quickly looking at the uh, specs in the description: 13 amp 4-in-1 ESC, F411 MPU 6000, uh, Matek F411 um, firmware target. It's got two UARTs, 5 volt, 2.5 uh, amp BEC. The ESCs are BLLES, uh, GH30 is the target. So yeah, for again for your super tiny um, builds, but uh, let's see. Yep, there's a small wiring diagram here on the 
on the bottom. And you'll see if I can zoom in here. Yeah, so that's a pretty decently the decent resolution for the wiring diagram. So you should be able to figure out where what goes where. All right, so moving on, we got a, a lipo discharger. This is from HGLRC. It's Thor lipo discharger. I think you use these um, to put your batteries back into storage voltage. And it comes with some instructions here. This is sold at race day quads. So if you have some batteries you want to put into storage voltage, um, stick this on there. I think it takes a while because it uses like a resistor for heat dissipation to uh, bring your batteries down. But I guess you can buy multiples of these if you want to have uh, multiple batteries going at the same time. But uh, check out the uh, link in the description if you want more details on how this product works. All right, so we got a video transmitter here, the uh, Aishin Nano Plus. It's a 30 by 30 video transmitter. Obviously, goes up to 800 milliwatts as shown here, 48 channels, and uh, MMCX connector. It looks like you have some solder pads here if you don't want to use the plug. And it does come with the MMCX2 SMA adapter, pigtail, and you have an MMCX whip antenna as well as your uh, connector there for soldering to your flight controller. And it does come with the user manual. So just look at the product page really quick here. This is pretty standard. 7.4 grams. It's not too super light, but it's not really on the heavy side either. It uses IRC Tramp for the protocol for controlling it. 25 to 800 milliwatts is the uh, power output range. And the uh, mounting is a 30 by 30. So yeah, nothing uh, too unusual here. It's just another uh, analog video transmitter, of course. If you guys want to see additional testing on this specific model, well, let me know down in the comments. Okay, so I got this, um, like, like, this is from Emacs. This is the actually the, uh, the hardware setup inside the Tiny Hawk 3 and the Nano Hawk X. So it's a 1S board, so obviously for whoops and toothpicks, with your video transmitter uh, built in here, I think it goes up to 200 uh, milliwatts, and you have a D8 SPA receiver in here, plus your uh, motor plugs here, so this is obviously for 1S. So I'm going to probably put this into some sort of a toothpick build, maybe like, uh, like a long range build perhaps. Um, but let's take a quick look at the product page. So again, more photos. If you want to do a toothpick build, uh, I think these have 5 amp ESCs. Yeah, it's a 5 amp ESC, F4 or 5 chip, and the, uh, the FreeSky D8 receiver in there. So nothing too unusual here. All right, last but not least, this is a frame, and this is going to be the uh, thing that's going to be given away in this video. And so for those of you guys that, uh, well, for those that aren't here anymore, and they've left their comment, and are gone after the first five seconds of the video, uh, you guys aren't gonna be winning this uh, at this prize, because uh, here are the rules, finally. So, if you wanna uh, pick this up here, um, leave a uh, comment as a reply to my pinned comment, which will be the, uh, the pinned comment is the first comment you'll see at the bottom, that I will place, I'll place that there, reply to that comment saying that you'd like to be entered to win this frame which is a two inch frame it's called the cub all in one and it kind of looks like this so i'm kind of just <laughs> kind of put it together really quick here uh, basically you have this bottom plate you have this little cage or this tpu part for the um camera fpv camera and you have this top plate it's going to be like a standoff here in the back which is obviously included here in the bag well, with your screws, and I think it's for top-mounted batteries. I think you can mount stuff here, 20 by 20 stuff on the top plate. And the bottom plate is 20, like 16 by 16, 20 by 20, and also whoop, whoop style, 25 by 25. So very versatile. And you got, I think, the standard nine millimeter holes for your mounting, and it's just a two millimeter bottom plate, and it looks like a one and a half millimeter top plate. So a pretty nice little frame. I um, I was going to build this, but I decided I'm just going to give it away. So yeah, all I have to do is um, leave a reply to my pinned comment. 
and um, that will enter you. Then I'll probably pick someone within the next two to three days, and then I'll announce that in the pin. I'll just update the pin comment, also the description as to who won, and I'll I'll, I'll uh, obviously um, reply to the person that won in their in their comment that they left in my in my pin comment. So. Uh, make sure you're paying attention to your notifications because when I reply to your comment, you'll get notified on your YouTube, and that's how you know if that you won. And you obviously go and check the video to see if you've won as well. Now, if you're seeing this video like weeks later, um, I usually the giveaways don't last very long, so you know uh, you need to check your notifications and watch the videos to see when these giveaways happen. Because if you're watching the video a much later, it's too late. I know people still enter six months after the giveaway has been over, but it's just saying, if you're wondering why you haven't won, that's because the giveaway is already over. If you're watching this from like, you know, six months from now, the, the release of the video. Okay, that's going to do it for this one. Talk to you guys later.